Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some Black Ops Cold War. Feels weird doing an update video for Black Ops Cold War. It's a game that I haven't really been covering a whole lot here on the channel, but the game's about to wrap up, which feels pretty weird. I remember playing the alpha for Black Ops Cold War. I remember the pre-launch hype for Black Ops Cold War. The launch itself, which was actually pretty fun, despite the fact that there were lots of issues. It's always fun having a new Call of Duty game and playing through that and playing through the OP MP5 way back when and so on and so forth. It's been an interesting year for sure. I don't think anyone can deny that and here we are about to enter season six the final season of the game and i don't see cold war getting the modern warfare treatment i think modern warfare got a couple of post-launch maps and some extra things added even after its life cycle i'm not sure that's going to happen with cold war i can see them continuing to update modern warfare they're definitely going to update vanguard when that game is out but i'm not so sure about cold war this might be like the you know the middle child that kind of gets forgotten but regardless season six is about to start here in just a couple of days on october 7th and we have a roadmap, and I want to discuss that, as well as what we know about the haunting event, because there will be a haunting event, as well as a pretty big Warzone event, so big that I'm actually interested in trying it out, because it's obviously going to be tied to Vanguard as well. So, let's go ahead and discuss everything. Here is going to be the roadmap on your screen right now. To quickly cover multiplayer, we have three new maps that are going to be coming. We have D-Program, which is going to be a map that's going to be kind of trippy. It's going to be basically taking us into the mind of Adler, so it's going to be sort of similar to that Creed to Psycho DLC from Borderlands 3, if you guys played that. We have America, which is going to be the Russian training course or whatever that's going to be set in America. If you played the campaign, you know this is going to be like the American Main Street or whatever. Everyone always says it should be a map for multiplayer, and it's going to be. That's going to be 6v6. Then we have Glubaco. I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's going to be a face-off map, a 2v2 and a 3v3 map. When it comes to the weapons, we're going to have the 410 Ironhide Lever Action Shotgun, as well as the Grav Assault Rifle, otherwise known as the Galil. Those are going to be there right Right from day one that's pretty awesome along with the battle axe which i suppose is fine if you're a melee player and then in season the lapa submachine gun is going to appear and then we have the hammer and sickle melee weapon as well i'm not much of a melee weapon person but i know these knives only is going to be excited about a hammer and sickle melee weapon that is so much cooler than like a random you know chopping axe or whatever so that's pretty interesting on top of that warzone i'm not much of a warzone guy you guys know that but we're going to be getting some map updates to warzone we're going back to the original gulag and there's going to be world war ii bunkers now according to the official call to the website there are going to be these fissure cracks that are going to open up stadium as well as downtown we saw some of that during a cinematic and these fissure cracks are going to reveal long forgotten strange world war ii era german bunkers that are below verdansk so that's pretty interesting of course that is going to tie into call of duty vanguard and if you guys haven't heard this already when vanguard comes out there's going to be a whole new war zone map so essentially what they're doing is i believe they're going to be completely destroying verdansk and then getting ready for the Pacific, which is going to be the new Warzone map that's going to be set in World War II, which I think is pretty interesting. Moving along here, we have the Haunting event, which is going to begin on October 19th. Now, you guys may remember the Haunting of Verdansk last year. Well, it's going to be different this year, it would appear. Now, on the official Call of Duty blog post, once again, link to that down in the description, they're calling this a true horror movie nightmare which sounds awesome. Of course, Black Ops Cold War has been doing a bunch of things that are tying it to the 80s and doing these deals with things like Rambo and stuff like that. So I don't know about you guys, but I would be stoked if somehow they got Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, like all the old 80s slasher icons. That would be pretty sick if they were able to incorporate them into this event. Although, unfortunately, despite him being my favorite, I have a feeling Jason Voorhees and the Friday the 13th franchise will not be part of this because there's currently a massive lawsuit going on with Friday the 13th over the rights to it between the original director of the first movie and the original writer of the first movie over who came up with the idea of Jason Voorhees and who owns Jason Voorhees. I follow this thing pretty closely. And so, yeah, as a result, they had to shut down the Friday the 13th game. No Friday the 13th movies can be made. Basically, the entire franchise is in limbo and has been for like three years now. So... Unfortunately, if they do decide to go for like an 80s horror movie slasher icon event, I don't think we're going to see Jason Voorhees, which is really unfortunate. But Michael Myers would be cool. We saw Michael Myers, of course, back in Call of Duty Ghosts. So maybe that could be part of the event. As of right now, we, we don't really know much about the haunting event. The blog post basically says it's going to be a true horror movie nightmare and that more information will be available for Cold War and Warzone on October 18th. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see how things are going to play out in regards to that. Now, pretty much last but not least here, we have zombies. And you guys know me, I'm not much of a zombies guy. I feel as though there's lots 
lots of way better zombie YouTuber people out there that can cover this stuff. But the Forsaken map is going to be coming. It's probably going to be the final map for Black Ops Cold War unless they decide to do a Zombies Chronicle 2, which some people are wondering if that's going to be the case because we have this image right here. And in the background, we see Nocturne and Toten on the movie screen and then zombies running around that America map. So perhaps they would do that. I think they should. That would be so sick. But then again, I have to wonder how much they're going to be willing to do something like that in a game like Cold War when Vanguard Zombies is right around the corner. And if you guys don't know, Treyarch is basically handling all of zombies for Call of Duty Vanguard. Like Sledgehammer is not going to contribute really all that much. It's basically Treyarch going, OK, we're going to do another straight year of zombies. They're going to basically have Vanguard be a prequel to the events of Cold War Zombies. So that should be interesting. And I have to wonder if that's, you know, if that being the case, why would they do Zombies Chronicles here in Cold War as compared to Vanguard? I guess we'll have to wait and see how things are going to play out. But yeah, PhD Slider is coming back. There's going to be a brand new Wonder Weapon and, of course, new support weapons in the form of the RCXD and the Hand Cannon. So that's pretty cool. And going back to the roadmap itself, there's going to be a bunch of bundles in the shop. Of course, that is going to be the case. Of course, Mason is coming back. And yeah, it looks like it's actually going to be a pretty awesome season. Like on paper, anyway, it seems like a pretty fun season. Uh, in practice, it's like, well... How much are you enjoying Cold War? Because while, yes, new maps are fun, new weapons are fun, and things like that, if you don't enjoy the core gameplay, then that's going to make it so you're not really having that much fun, regardless of what's actually added. I would love to know down there in the comments, how many of you still play Cold War? I play on occasion, essentially. Right now, like, my only goal, and I don't even know why it's my goal anymore, because, again, everything we do right now is pretty much pointless, because Vanguard's right around the corner, but uh, I want to get up to 10th Prestige, and what, what's annoying is I have to get to 10th Prestige, and then I have to get to Prestige Master for that current season, which if Season 6 is the final season, I might as well, and then at that point, I can buy the COD 4 10th Prestige icon, the COD 4 10th Prestige calling card, and the World at War 10th Prestige icon, and then just rock those and then just be feel like I've beaten the game, essentially. Um, I've talked about it several times here in the channel, but for me personally, I think Black Ops Cold War could have been one of the best Call of Duty titles ever made. I truly love the gunplay. I love most of the weapons in the game. I think a lot of the maps are very creative and fun. What kind of ruined it for me, and it's because I've been playing COD for so long, is the game needs to have progression. It's like video game 101 for me. There needs to be things for you to do in the game that give you like actual rewards for doing things in the game. And back in like... December, which may not sound like that long ago, but that was literally like 10 months ago, uh, even more than that, actually, I, uh, I got Dark Matter. And once you get Dark Matter in this game, there's nothing left to really play for besides just leveling up just to level up. And I guess, you know, messing around with new weapons whenever they come out. And that's pretty much it. There's no 100 percenter. There's no, you know, going back to Black Ops 4, there's no supply drop system where you can save up your supply drops and directly buy DLC weapons or buy Blackout characters. There's no system like that whatsoever. I feel as though they should do something like that for Cold War where you can get this kind of currency by doing contracts and playing the game and doing things. And you can spend that currency in the store to buy these really cool bundles because there's lots of really cool stuff in the shop i'm just not dropping like you know any money on the shop to you know buy these cool things you know i'm not gonna do that so i don't know i feel like there's, like there's so much more they could have done with this game progression wise because right now the only thing to play for is complete the battle pass which you know it's whatever you know i feel like there, i feel as though there should have been a lot more to this game and unfortunately there wasn't and i will say i do like coming back at the beginning of every season i typically prestige whenever a new season comes out i'll prestige like maybe one time and then i'm like ah, I've, I've done this all already i've already uh, run this treadmill i suppose i'm just kind of waiting for the next cod so i guess we'll wait and see how things are going to play out on paper Paper, this does look pretty good. The new maps sound pretty interesting. The new weapons sound awesome. Lever action shotgun. I've been wanting another shotgun. My top weapon, actually, uh, most used weapon in Cold War is the Hower, believe it or not. I like pump actions. What can I say? So lever action is going to be pretty similar. And having the grab be back from Blackout slash Black Ops 1 is pretty cool. And new submachine guns going to be coming. So, yeah, lots of fun stuff. Plus a Halloween event. So hopefully they really knocked out of the park. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here in today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Typically, I do a video every other day here on the channel but today there was news i'm like well instead of like this being like the off day we're gonna do some news and hopefully do a video tomorrow as well so hopefully you guys all enjoyed it let me know down there in the comments do you still play black ops cold war that's like the question of the day and the topic of today i want to discuss with you guys down in the comments do you still play Black Ops Cold War? Why do you still play Black Ops Cold War? If so, or why don't you play Black Ops Cold War? If not, leave your thoughts and feedback on Season 6 down there in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider leaving a like. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.